All right, so in keeping with the uh, 12 days of Christmas here, I'm going to post something I'm thankful for, and people have been asking me what is behind me. My studio has been closed. So I can cover two birds, kill two birds in one stone here. Um, first of all, here's your 10th day of Christmas. And lastly, um, here's something cool to be thankful for. I get to go to a lot of shows for free. Now, not all of these shows I went to for free. Some of them I did, some of them I didn't. I'm not going to get into specifics. But I'm very thankful that I get to go to a lot of shows and that I have been blessed lately within the last year and a half of going to them for free and getting to meet them and getting to interview them and then getting paid a little bit to cover the show. You can't beat that. Uh, this was the High Vol Music Fest that I covered. You can find all of these articles on Blasting News and uh, elsewhere if you follow my work. Um, Every Mother's Nightmare. Really? Billy Morris. He was with Warrant. Tough. Red Rain. Babylon Shakes. Lola Montez was amazing. L.A. Knights. Babylon Shakes. Guys, I got to go to that. Look at all the autographs on that. That's killer. Here we got Front 242 on the back of this. Look at this. Look at this. Autographs from Front 242. That's as rare as freaking hen's teeth, friends. They're from Belgium. There is a ministry, and that's awesome because I do believe Mike Skacia's autograph is on that particular one. If not, it's on the other one. He's no longer with us. There's Testament. Yep, autographed by every single one of them. Um, Judas Priest. I didn't get to meet them, but it was cool. Uh, the, the Calves, I went to that with my wife. I don't even think she still remembers it, but it was fun. Uh, Deep Purple and Judas Priest, I also got sent to that one for free. Um, there's Passing Time. That's what my band got to do. Uh, that was killer. Uh, Ozfest from 03. Uh, needless to say, that was just wicked. Um, Frontline Assembly. Look at that Passing Time. My band opened for that. There's KMFDM. That's their autograph. They know us personally. We even have a couple of their home phone numbers. Um, Megadeth. The United Abominations Tour. Now, I didn't get to see that, but my ex did, and I got to see other Megadeth shows, and I think she took mine and I took hers, but that's where that came from. Christmas Carol, you guys know I just went to that. I just covered that for everyone. Also, right there, Marilyn Manson back in 1995. Hell yeah, you bet. Right there, Download. That is also Skinny Puppy. I have their autograph from Skinny Puppy and from the members of Download as well. Um... That there is a legend of Bear Creek. I used to work there. Combi Christ and uh, Chem Lab up there. I got to meet Combi Christ many times, including at that show back in the early 2000s. Chem Lab we opened for. Uh, the Donald Trump Pence, that there is a press pass. We were, uh, my wife and I were actually on the media truck and we got our press pass and our press credentials from that. Up there uh, in the corner is, in the far right, is Chant. They opened for KMFDM. That is autographed. Uh, they were awesome to us. I DJed for a lot of uh, adult entertainers, including Mazzy Malone, who signed right there, uh, praising my DJ work. Trans-Siberian Orchestra, that's autographed on the back. Children of Bodom is autographed. Factory of Terror speaks for itself. Uh, that's there's the Mega Death I went to. Jacob's Pavilion. I've gone to a couple, but that's it. This there is from my old band Jaws of Victory, and I've been to a number of other shows. The Thrill Kill Cult, of course. Uh, I've opened for them. They know me by name. It's been a lot. That's common with a lot of these bands. And there's probably a crap ton of other bands that I have interviewed and talked to. There's the Dead Daisies. Look at that man. Made up of Thin Lizzy, White Snake, Mink, Red Phoenix, Journey, Bad English, Motley Crue, The Scream, White Snake, and Dio. I got to meet all of them. Their seance when passing time opened for them. And did one of their closing shows as well. So and there's a few of the things that I'm blessed with. Uh, I got to do all of that and a lot more. Unfortunately, my keyboard has been stolen. So I can't do a lot of this now in terms of playing. But I will be back before long. Uh, let me know which of these was your favorite, and if you want to know about any of the other bands I opened for or have played with or have gotten to see, and I'll be happy to let you know about it. Merry Christmas.